This is our son, Tyson. He is 12 months old. He is adventurous and lovable and often the life of the party. He loves playing with cars, his penguin, and especially his big brother, Trent. Tyson was born with a mild hearing loss. This type of hearing loss makes it hard to hear certain sounds, including speech. For Tyson, normal talking might sound like this without his hearing aids. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ed Levy. Here's your San Francisco forecast. Very bleak cloudy, maybe a shower by morning, low, low 50s. With normal hearing, the same talking sounds like this. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ed Levy. Here's your San Francisco forecast. Very bleak cloudy, maybe a shower by morning, low, low 50s. Even though Tyson still hears many sounds, it's much harder for him to understand speech clearly. This is especially true in noisy places, like a noisy restaurant or a crowded playground. Luckily, wearing hearing aids makes Tyson miss fewer sounds and makes listening easier. Tyson's hearing aids work by amplifying the specific sounds that he has a hard time hearing. Hearing aids use a microphone that listens to the sounds in the environment. Then, they take the sounds that Tyson can't hear well and make those sounds loud enough for him to hear. Since Tyson can already hear loud sounds without his hearing aids, the hearing aids mostly amplify quiet sounds that Tyson can't hear without his hearing aids. Many people wonder, why does a baby need to wear hearing aids? Aren't they too young to understand me anyways? Wearing hearing aids is really important for Tyson because he is in the process of learning to speak and understand words. Babies and toddlers learn a lot about language by simply overhearing sounds and speech within their listening bubble. The listening bubble is a space around them where they can hear well. For this reason, it is said that language is caught, not taught. Without his hearing aids, Tyson's listening bubble is smaller and he has fewer opportunities to catch language than he does with his hearing aids. Even though Tyson may listen and respond when he's not wearing the hearing aids, he misses out on a lot of information without them. By putting in his hearing aids, we are giving Tyson more chances to learn and interact with other people. There are several things that you can do to help make listening easier for Tyson. Number one, get Tyson's attention before telling him something. Getting his attention first allows Tyson to use his energy for listening to your message. If he's having trouble finding you, tell him specifically where you are. For example, saying, I'm in the kitchen is more helpful than saying, I'm over here. Number two, talk face to face. Tyson will understand you best if he can see your face while you're speaking. Seeing your mouth move is also helpful for speech comprehension because it gives him additional visual information about what sounds are being made. Number three, provide a good listening environment. Tyson will have an easiest time listening when he can see your face and there's no background noise from things like TVs, radios, and dishwashers. When you can, you can help by reducing noise in the room or find a quieter part of the room to talk to Tyson. You can also help by moving closer to Tyson when you're talking to him. Doing these things will really help Tyson have an easier time understanding you and will also help his speech and language development. Thanks for listening.